Hi, today we're going to have a look at research methods and in particular we're going to look at experiments. The experimental method. This method is a research method that can establish causal, cause and effect relationships between variables. Psychologists manipulate an independent variable to see if there is a change in the independent variable. Researchers um, can create hypotheses which are predictions about the effect that changing the independent variable will have on the dependent variable. Often those in an exper experiment are in one of two conditions. The experimental condition, where the um, independent variable is manipulated, or the control condition, where no change is made. Experiments have key features that must be present. One, the effect of the independent variables on the dependent variables is being tested. Two, controlled conditions are established, e.g. using standardized procedures. And three, the possible replication of the procedures in order to test the reliability of the findings. Laboratory and field experiments. Exper experiments can be carried out under controlled laboratory conditions or in the field in a natural setting where the behaviour to be studied occurs spontaneously or naturally. The choice of location reflects a balance between strict control, uh, laboratory experiments, and ensuring that the re research has high ecological validity, which is typical in field experiments, and this allows the study to be generalised to real life settings. Experiments can be quasi-experiments, where the independent variable occurs naturally, or is already established and can't, for either ethical or practical reasons, be manipulated by the experimenter. And only the resulting behaviour can be observed by the experimenter. Um, quasi-experiments are sometimes known as natural experiments. Um, here are the strengths and weaknesses of each type of experiment. Um, so for lab laboratory experiments, um, there's a high level of control, and this helps to produce scientific research, as it ensures that extraneous variables are controlled so that the only variable affecting behaviour is the one that the researchers are manipulating. Um, laboratory experiments are also less ecological, e ecologically valid, as the research is conducted in, in artificial settings which do not reflect that of real life, and thus the behaviour observed may be artificial. For field experiments, uh, they offer a more realistic setting for a study and therefore have more ecological validity, but the weaknesses are that the lack of control can mean, it's, can mean it is difficult to assume that the variable manipulated was actually influence, influencing behaviour and that it wasn't something else, such as like other extraneous variables. For quasi-experiments, the strengths are the these experiments allow us to study the effects of the variable psychologists, psychologists can't manipulate or change on behaviour, and for the weaknesses, there is no control over the participants in terms of social setting, how they are brought up, lifestyle, etc., which may be confounding variables which have an impact on the, de the dependent variable. Um, there was a quick overview in just three minutes. Um, I hope you made some notes on that, and thank you for listening.